and looking to step around the corner opposite his head. See the knee block? Now, do not injure each other, but you're gonna kind of drop him down and your, the, the potential is your right shoulder could spike their, their rib cage pretty good. So the way he absorbs, he doesn't post his right hand. His right hand needs to stay on the leg. His left hand can post and his legs can post. Okay, like that, that's fine. And we're gonna do even more on the next one. But once you're here, if the arm is in, use your right knee to pull your right arm out and then hug the neck. And then we do a shoulder choke or what some people call like a von flu, but there's variations. Hug, hug the shoulder though for me, David. There you go, and just drive the right shoulder and tip your hip, there you go. Just kind of pressure, 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 pressure. Eventually the person on bottom will let go and they will start to fight you off with two hands. If you wanna practice the von flu choke, then you would lock up the hands. So if he has a guillotine, we gotta let him have a guillotine. You would lock up your hands, palm to palm, that'd be nice. We want left palm up in this. Uh, no, no, you had it right. I, I'm just saying he, he had it right. Can you give me a little better grip though? Yeah, that's better. And now just go right shoulder and then sprawl your right leg and dip your hip and back step your left foot. Or, yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. So that's the bon fluid. And the reason why this works is because he can't take his right hand out to defend. What do I mean by defend? If you were to just shoulder choke him and he could take the shoulder up, he will survive this choke. He'll just frame, he'll start pushing, he'll start bridging, he'll start fighting. And with that hand free, he can, he can do that. But that's okay, you got out of the guillotine. So at least we got out of the guillotine, they're not choking us. How did we get here? Let's go back up. Okay, so yeah, let, let Jesse go right here. Now watch, I'm gonna ask Jesse to not hurt David, but he's still going to block and as he drops, he's gonna post left hand, and, and his right, at the, he's gonna look like a good little, look at David's all his hand. Nice. See how the right hand's blocking this? This is important for us because we can't let the guard come in. Try to get the guard in. Notice how hard that is. He's clearing that out of the way, and he's getting his knee in there. Yeah, Jesse, get your left knee in there. There you go. And now go hug the neck, get a cross face, lock it up. And with the guy turning on his side, a lot of times it allows us to get a good lock. It allows our lock to set. Now that lock looks good. Right shoulder, right hip down, back step the left foot, and it's done, okay? Advanced guys, you want some variation? Advanced guys, we're gonna go. We're gonna, I don't know if we've shown you this, Jesse. Left hand's gonna reach, I know you have the buff arms. You're gonna reach and grab shoulder with your left hand. Yes, I know it's hard. Uh, the long skinny guys will love this, okay? That's just a temporary grip. Now what he's gonna do, he's gonna take his right hand out and pin the wrist down and staple it. With your right hand pinned his near wrist and staple it. Now go ahead and go back to lock, and now we don't have to back step. We just shoulder choke. Okay? That's an even better bonus on the Von Flu choke if you can do it. Okay? But again, the, the lanky guys will be able to catch a good grip right here, and he won't be able to take, take that out, David. Take that out. See how he's all shrugged up right here? We won't let him take it out. And then the right hand can dominate. So let that let that hand back out. Let him have it frame in the hip. Yeah, he's framing the hip, pushing. Now just practice. Fight that, David. Fight it. Fight it. Uh, David, you're too nice. Do it again. Fight it, David. Fight it. Work on, work on getting that wrist. Try to grab it the other way if you can. Yeah, pin it, pin it, pin it, pin it, pin it. It's not easy, guys. It's a fight. But we got to learn it. So that's for you advanced guys, especially lanky guys. Von flu choke. You don't always have to staple. You can always sprawl and back step. Okay, sprawl and back step variation. He locks. He has a free hand. But see, he's dealing with the frame just by putting all the weight on the frame. And why does that work? Because now David's like pushing with his left hand, but he gets tired, okay? Man, he gets tired quick. Guys, that, that was a joke, you can laugh. It's my pressure. I know, I know, I know, it's just his pressure. Watch out for that pressure. Um, how did we get here? Let's come back up for the final time. We shot a, uh, or we were in on a guillotine. We go double leg. We're not, we're ignoring the neck. Try to choke him a little bit, David. Try to choke him. Trips him right into side control. And gets to side control, and then Von Flu's coming. Okay, that sprawl and back step. Or we got secured real tight. Make this space real tight. So try to take that hand out. Should be tough. And then we're gonna dominate that wrist and staple it. Try to staple it. You could be punching in MMA. You could punch a little bit to get the guy to block and then do a little hand fight kung fu and roll your hand inside and pin it down. You know what I mean? Block those punches, you see that? And now he's gonna work on getting it stable. 
Just go ahead and hand fight. There you go. See how he did a little, watch that little, when I said Kung Fu earlier, it's just, anytime I ran for a sack, it usually means like swimming your hand inside because it kind of looks Kung Fu and it push. Kung Fu is an actual word, you can look it up. <laughs> so, I just made it up, guys. All right, let's go, ready? Get to work. All right, guys, you need to learn this too, okay? I've shown this so many times, so many times. When we do guillotine defense, of course, sometimes we need to address the problem. But sometimes we need to counterattack. So the double leg is a way to...